hello guys welcome to my channel so today i'm going to work on the already existing series and this is going to be the part 3 video of that series so i got one comment on one of the existing video of this series that how can we actually append the data to our already existing excel file so that we are going to cover in this video but before we move on if you are new to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel let please do now let's not waste any more time and work on the code so let me first show you what the excel file looks like so this is the data and you can see that we have around nine rows of data and we have eight columns right so what I want to do now is I want to add 11th and 12th row of data entirely to this already existing list and then we will check if that is going to happen with our code or not right so let's work on the code so first thing first is that we need a library named openpy excel So if you don't have it with you, you just have to do pip install openpy excel and that's it, right? So what I want to do is I want to import this and specifically I want to import load workbook, right? So this load workbook as the name suggests, it is going to load my entire excel file into this python code, right? So first I need my file path where actually my Excel file exists. So it is at C temp for me. So if, uh, so you can change the location accordingly. Now what I want to do is I want to import my Excel file through load workbook method, right? So to do that, I just have to do load workbook. And I can do this right now because I have imported this method, right? So here I just have to provide the path. So I'll just do file path. And this is going to be workbook, right? Now uh, from this workbook, I need to work on a particular sheet. So you can have n number of sheet in your Excel file. But for me, I just have only one sheet of data, but still I need to get that sheet, right? So to do that, I'll just do sheet and there is going to be only one active sheet in a workbook. So for me, it's only going to be the single sheet that I have in my workbook, right? Now I need to create the new data that I want to insert to my Excel file, right? So here I'm going to use an array of data you can say. So here I, what I will have is like list of data. So I, I can have n number of data here, but I only want to insert two rows of data. So one row is going to be like this and second row is going to be like this. So as you know that in my Excel sheet, I have eight columns. So let me put some random data to it. All right, so as you can see that I have two entries now, as in I have two rows of data now. So you don't have to care about what data I have here. You can have any data like you want. So that we don't have to think on. So we have a data here and we have two rows of data. That's what we have right now. Now what we need to do is we need to iterate over it because in my current scenario, I know that I have only two rows of data, but in my real world scenario, I could have n number of data, right? So let's iterate over my new data. And now I have a method called append. So it's simple like that. So if I just do data here, it is going to append the data. But remember that you have to follow the format. 
otherwise what will happen they they can they can be two scenarios one scenario could be that you will see the data but it won't be in the exact scenario second is going to be that you don't see any data right so first thing first is that you should have some kind of header or a validation in your uh, excel file so that while inserting the data if something is not in proper with the format then it should prompt you that something is wrong with the data and that is what actually happens in the real world scenarios also right so that is going to be for a big scale application but for now you just have to understand how do you insert it so for that we just need the append method right now that we have append the data we just have to save our workbook so i'm just going to do wb dot save and here i can provide the other file name so here i'll just do updated test or i could have done file path also so that it will override my existing file but it will actually append it right but here in this case i will have two separate files one will have only nine rows of data another is going to have 11 rows of data right so let's run this now all right so it's done now let's see what we have All right, so here you can see that we have 11 rows of data now. So John Doe and Jane Doe is created. And this is it, what we, what I wanted to do with this video. So if you have any questions on this particular code, do let me know on the comment section. And if you have any suggestions for me on which I can create a video on, again, do let me know on the comment section. So this is it for this video. I hope you will have a great day and you are staying safe at your home. So this is it. I hope we will meet in some another video. Till then, have a good day, stay safe and bye-bye.